A brand new iOS customization tool is now available designed specifically to enable jailbreak like tweaks on iOS 16 up to iOS 26 without needing a jailbreak. It uses the latest CVE exploit by Lambeer to modify in memory files safely. This tool lets you enable jailbreak like tweaks and customization on iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 26 on all devices. While this is not a jailbreak, it allows some customization on iOS that I believe you find neat. The iDevice Toolkit tool is a project built especially for iDevice Central and it takes advantage of the CVE exploit to modify files in memory. This allows us to enable some jailbreak-like tweaks even on iOS 18. The vulnerability is not a powerful one but it's enough to be able to zero out files in RAM and a lot can be done with just that. Some things you can do with this amazing tool such as hide the dock, hide the home bar, hide folder backgrounds, disable the disturb icon and many more. The app can be installed with your favorite iOS IPA signer tool like SideLoodly, AltStore, eSign or even TrollStore if you have a compatible device. Now I'm gonna show you how to download and install this tool. First go ahead and open Safari and go to this website geosnow slash iDevice toolkit on github and here as you see you will find the tool. This update brings iOS 26 beta support and major changes to the UI design. Here you can see the supported iOS versions. It works on iOS 16.0 to iOS 16.7.10, iOS 17.0 to iOS 17.7.5, and iOS 18.0 to iOS 18.3.2 for built-in tweaks using Lambeer's exploit. Also works on iOS 16.0, iOS 18.5, and iOS 26 beta 4 file manager and IPA tweak injection modules. Now go ahead and go to assists here and download the latest available version. The latest available version is 1.9.0, so go ahead and download it. It's now downloading. The download has finished. Once you download this tool as IPA file, go ahead and install it with SideLoadly, AltStore, or TrollStore. Press the share button. If you have a certificate, you can install it with eSign. Since I have TrollStore, I will install it with TrollStore. Okay, the app has been installed. After installing the app, you should find the app icon here as you see. Go ahead and open it. And as you see, this is the tool and this is the main interface. I'm going to quickly explain all the tool features. So the first option we have here is cosmetic tweaks. With this option you can enable tweaks to customize your device appearance and behavior. Here we have file manager. With this you can explore and manage system files. It's similar to files a file manager. The last option we have here is IPA tweaks. With this option you can add dialib jailbreak tweaks to IPA files. So you can inject dialib files to any IPA file. It's pretty simple to use. Here you just select the IPA file here at the dialog file you want to inject and that's it. With file manager you can quickly explore system files. Now let's go to cosmetic tweaks option. Here you can customize your device with the available tweaks. No jailbreak required. In aesthetics option here you can enable the tweaks. So you can hide the dock, hide the home bar, hide folder backgrounds, hide lock icon, hide passcode background, hide large battery icon, disable brightness icon, Icon, disable CC blur and more. With privacy option here you can disable core recording sound and disable camera shutter sound. In experimental option here you can enable forest reboot iOS. In sound option here you can disable payment sounds, disable low battery sound, disable charge sound and disable airdrop sound. And finally the last option we have here is create custom tweak. Here you can create your own custom tweaks directly from this app. You can now create your own custom tweaks and run them and also you can share the tweaks you make. Here type the tweak name, here select the icon, here type the description, and here add the target path. Also you can import files from here. Okay, once you enable the options you want, go ahead and press apply. As you see, run an exploit. 
applying tweaks, you should see this beautiful screen and done. If you see successful here, it means the tweaks has been applied. Now you need to respring your device to apply the changes. So how to respring your device? Just follow these steps. Due to the limitations of the exploit used, you need to manually respring the device for tweaks to take effect. There are two ways of doing that. First, change the device language back and forth. This makes the device respring. The second way is to change the display zoom setting. So go to settings, then display and brightness options. Scroll down to display zoom. Here, change between large text or default. Once you change it, the device will respring as you see. So this is how to respring your device. So this is the Toolkit app. iDevice Toolkit IPA is a free open source iOS customization app that allows users to customize their devices on iOS 16.0 up to iOS 18.3.2 without jailbreaking their device. So is this Toolkit IPA safe to use? The answer is yes. The IPA is safe to use. It's open source and developed by GSNOW using a public iOS exploit discovered by Lambier of Google Project Zero. You can also compile the app yourself for full transparency. So does iDevice Toolkit IPA require a jailbreak? The answer is no. The IPA works without a jailbreak. So guys, this is our video for today and as always if you enjoyed watching this video give it a like, hit the subscribe button for more videos and peace.